Esther Hernandez. Esther Hernandez was born in 1944 in San Joaquin Valley, California. She is a San Francisco based Chicana visual artist. She was raised by farm workers. So she grew up in a migrant farm working community. She was inspired by her family. Her mom continued the family tradition of embroidery. Her grandfather made religious sculptures and her, and her father was a photographer and visual artist. She started to develop an interest in art and started to portray Latina women through print making and pastel painting. Esther Hernandez is best known for her pastels, prints, paintings, and installations of Chicana Latina women. Her artwork reflects two political, social, ecological, and spiritual themes. Her artwork are mostly about pesticides, farm workers, laborers, women's issues, civil rights, and social justice. Some of her artworks are La Ofrenda Dos. If this is deaf, I like it. Mis Madres. Cosmic Cruise. Luna Llena. and California Special. What all these artworks have in common is that they are all paintings of women. Her artwork is to put a stop on the stereotypes of Latina women. I chose the artwork Sun Mad by Esther Hernandez. This painting was created in 1981. The dimensions are 22 by 17. You can go see the painting at the Smithsonian American Art Museum. Esther Hernandez uses the serigraphy printmaking technique. The painting has the colors red, yellow, white, green, brown, and black. She uses contour lines. Esther Hernandez used the iconic red sun made raisin box. In the artwork, we see a bright red background, a yellow sun, a smiling skeleton woman. She is wearing an oversized red bonnet. The skeleton is holding a basket full of grapes. On the bottom, it says sun mad raisins, unnaturally grown, insecticides, miticides, herbicides, and fungicides. The reason why she created Sun Mad was for the farm workers and consumers. Esther Hernandez wanted to let everyone know that Sun Made was poison. The artwork's meaning was to address the damage of pesticides to the environment and farm workers. The artwork Sun Mad is about the water contamination problem that is affecting the environment and farm workers. The interpretation of the skeleton is death, which is telling us that the sun-made grapes are dangerous and can cause death. The sun behind the skeleton means prosperity and sunshine, since that's what the sun-made raisin company embodies. During that time period, the Chicano art movement and the Chicano rights movement was happening which was in the 1960s. The Chicano art movement is a movement in which Mexican-American artists wanted to show their culture and wanted to be able to express themselves. Also, so everyone could know what was happening at the time, which Latinos fought for discrimination and demanded equal opportunity.
The Chicano rights movement is a goal of achieving Mexican-American empowerment. The Chicano movement consisted mostly only in college students and young adults. Cesar Chavez was one of the leaders of the Chicano movement. Mexican-American migrant workers formed a protest group. The group was called the United Farm Workers of America. It was led by Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. It was a boycott against American grape growers. They demanded better wages and employment rights. I tried recreating the painting Sun Mad, but instead of it being in color, I decided to make it into a black and white drawing so that it shows the emotion people felt during that time about how the pesticides were affecting the environment and farm workers.